What up y'all, today's video starting off on a good note, man. I just made it to the pond. Luckily, it's not very far from home, but I forgot the seats to the freaking kayaks. They're on the back and I invited Jordan to come out and fish with me. He's not even close to being here yet, so we'll have time to run home, grab them, and make it back. But, fishing with Christian tonight. I'll put his information down in the description. He just rolled up too. We plan this thing out so perfectly. It's 6.40, sun sets in like two hours. So we'll have an hour to fish or something like that. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off the camera real quick. I'm gonna make it back home. I'm gonna zip over there, grab these two seats, get back. Jordan's hopping on one of the bona fides because Devin is at work tonight. I am working on the channel's growth, man. Support your boy with the subscribe and sign up for the notifications. You don't actually have to sign up. It's just something you click. You could be fishing right now. I guess it's a good time to tell you guys about our giveaway we've got going on over on Instagram. Hop over there if you want to win a rod and a reel, man. It would mean the world to me. I've spent about $500 uh, putting this giveaway together for one of you lucky folks. It's running over the 4th of July weekend, and you guys are going to get to pick the rod that you want if you win. You're going to get to pick your reel whether you want it right or left-handed. I'm leaving it up to whoever pops up through the random comment generator I'm using, and I think you guys are going to have a ton of fun slinging around the Guggen baits I'm going to be throwing in for you as well. Well, with that being said, uh, good luck to all of you who have entered. I've been getting so many comments from you guys saying that you just made an Instagram account specifically to enter the giveaway. It means the world to me, guys. Thanks so much. Here we go. Right where I left him. Locked and loaded. Let's go get some fish. Oh, we're back. How's it been? Hi. He's been chilling in his car. He's just been charging his GoPro batteries. Christian didn't even hop in the water yet. Okay, Jordan is just a minute or two out. We're gonna get these things unloaded and we're gonna hop right in to this grassy mess. Look at this dude, looks like frog heaven. It wasn't like here, like this last week. Really? Yeah, this is new. Only one week's worth of summertime heat and this grass yeah, is yeah, to yeah. the surface and beyond like Buzz Lightyear. Let's go ahead and get these things undone. Let me lower this before I break it five times over. Yeah, that's. It, good thing Devin's not here. That's what happened last time, y'all. The pins just, they have fun. This is Christian's new system. yak. This thing looks sick. Retractable yank anchor. Retractable anchor. Dude. With the anchor trolley on the, the side The life of luxury. Mounted. See this right here? You ever seen one of these? Uh, I doubt it. The anchor trolley? I haven't seen much. So what you do is, uh, if you want to be facing the wind, yeah. you clip my anchor uh -huh. to this. Got you. And um, it unlocks by the lever. Oh, and you can slide. Or, and no can, way, I get it. Move the anchor to the front. No the way. Yeah. Way, dude. Yeah. So, <laughs> so Christian can literally strap his anchor to this guy right here, and he can slide that around. So if you want to be uh, facing the wind or against the wind or whatever, you can allow the wind to push your kayak and face whatever direction you want. Never. It's called a yeah. It's called an anchor trolley. Yep. A yak attack. All this stuff, man. I bet you both a dollar. I can tell you right where you got your shoes and where you got your flip flops. You want to bet? I would love to. You're on. Bet, bet you a dollar. I don't have cash. What you got? I got a truck. Oh. What if I don't remember where I got them? Well, it don't matter because I can tell you exactly where you got them. Okay. You want to bet? You owe it to me. Come on. I'll owe it to you. She's right down your feet. Yes. Jordan? Right now. Yes. That's where I'm going to get them. <laughs> <laughs> she says the easiest dollar she'll probably never make. All bets are off now. I bet I broke my trailer. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> no, it's uh, the, the pins just like to slide loose. Yeah, they're almost a little too greased up. There we go. Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, ground beef. You know what else you call it? No. Stuck. Stuck. <laughs> so I bought. You too. You Same to you. Night. Thank God you. you. Bought the rudder. Yes. See if I can get to work. Check it out. Put that thing down. It's all luck, right? Say what? But then. Oh. He's got all the tricks. Check it. That's true. Steering. So Steering is left and right? Yep. No way, with we the feet. It. With the feet. And Dude, this is crazy. My idea was, so the farthest this will go yeah. is where exactly I want my pedals normally with my gotcha. leg distance. What is your name again? It's Weston, like the hotel. How do you spell that? With an I. Weston, you have a great night. You too, thank you. There you go, sir. Got you a box for your rods. Oh, dude, you are mean. Yeah, these things are cool too. You'd be able to stand up, no problem. You'd be chilling. I usually take four. You do whatever you want. Christian, what do you normally get them on? Oh, that's good to know. Here we go, man. It's time to launch. Let's get out here. I'm probably in far enough. Oh, dang. This is looking too killer. All right, y'all. I'm starting off in just a little bit more open water out here. Less grass. I'm gonna throw the fluke around. This is the PB catcher. You know the deal. Zoom, salty, super fluke, and ice white. Dirt cheap over at Walmart. 
and it gets the job done, boys. We're gonna be just subsurface popping this thing. I doubt it's gonna be long before we get smashed. Crystal clear water. This is like a jerk bait without the treble hook, so I'm not gonna be catching all that grass. It'll just be sifting right through it. And in a spot like this, it is the ideal option. Just need to locate where the fish are at. There he goes. Oh, dang it. He smashed it right under the yak, dude. I saw him on the fluke. Well, that was supposed to be first one in the boat. I didn't feel the bite. It was on the pause and I had a little slack right after all those pops, but I saw him, uh, I saw him scoop it up. Just missed the hook set. First one of the evening. I just saw another one whip at it. I gotta drop down the Sanko or something. Uh, Ice white, super fluke. There's literally one or two right below the boat. I'm gonna drop down the Sanko real quick. Yeah, we're on the bottom. Come on, boys. Oh my God, I've got a fish on. He just ate it, but I don't think I have him anymore. Wow, I just had hits when it hit the bottom. Everywhere you go. Nice. Oh! <laughs> yeah, Jordan just had one hit right under the boat. He popped it up. The fish blop bopped off the top and then went right back in the water. <laughs> oh, found him. I heard that. White, ch white chatterbait? Yep. Uh, Dang. I'm gonna throw a chatterbait. Three eighths. I got a half ounce here. I'm trying to get down to the bottom because I'm seeing what Jordan's doing right now. He's tearing them up. Oh my gosh, I forgot they put like a thousand staples on these freaking... Uh, this is why I just save my money and get the originals. I'm gonna go with that natural crack and crawl trailer just because she gonna flutter. And she's got a little silver on the underside. All right, let's get this thing Palomar knotted up. There we go. Anywhere you go. All right, switching back to the lunker log. What do we got going tonight? There she goes. Snap that leader knot with the light line. We shall retire you for the evening then. Well, that just happened. Everything's going wrong today, huh? Forget the seats, stuff's getting broken off. We are uh, loving it. First catch was not a catch. He came off. I think I need to go a little bit lower with this chatterbait. Here comes that breeze. Dang, okay. <laughs> Dude, this is insane. And just like that, in an unforeseen change of events, the wind is now like hurricane force and we're stuck in the corner. I'm getting pushed over here trying to retie baits. Rod's getting caught in the trees, man. Oh, geez. What else could go wrong, dude? I'm telling you. <sighs> I think we found the ticket, though, to these bass. They're going to be hyped up with all this. I'm throwing in the lipless crankbait. This is going to be good right here. I gotta, I'm perched in this little spot now, so nothing I can do but cast. See you guys later. This is insane. I do not see anything on the radar. What's the watch saying? It's just saying cloudy. 20% chance of rain. Perfect. Might should be fire. Wow. Hey, how's the stability? <laughs> How does that thing track? <laughs> oh, he's anchoring down. All right. I see you. Are you kidding me? And there's a spider on here. Oh, there's a lot of spiders in here. Hell no. No, thank you. All right, let's go. Is that what you had that bite on though? All right, I got some shit for him. I got that all white swim jig. I don't need no blade. Must be crazy. I'm just going to your right. Oh yeah. Okay, we are in position. Anchor is dropped. See if we can't get a little something something. Yeah guys, we might anchor up and head over to the shallow end on the other side of the pond uh, where we launch. See if it's a little calmer and try and hit a little top water before we call it. It has been an eventful evening, I'll tell you that. I am all over the fish catches. Yo, I got like a tree. <laughs> oh. We stayed so late the fountain turned off. 
All right, y'all, we are making landfall, and so far all we can tell by uh, everything that's going on today is uh, I'm pretty much an idiot. I forget everything. I don't know how to catch fish. Can't get my anchor to work. Didn't check the forecast, apparently. And it's getting so dark you guys can hardly see. 